Equestrian Games being held this year in Tryon, North Carolina. They're one week away now. They're held every four years around the world in the middle of the Olympic cycle. And hundreds of horses are competing and on their way to the upstate, being flown in from Europe to the Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin, you just saw another group of horses land this afternoon. So tell us what that looks like, Kirsten. Yeah, that's right. Today was the third shipment since Sunday of these world renowned horses, and there are certainly more on the way. Number in there. For Barbara Keaton, it, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Who would have thought? Really? Who would have thought Little Tryon, North Carolina, and Greenville, South Carolina would be a part of this world class event? The horse admirer from Taylor says she and her husband watched from the fence on Sunday as this Emirates Sky Cargo plane touched down at GSP Airport. 67 horses unloaded after their flight from Belgium. We had to be here to see it because it's a Saudi Arabian airline bringing in horses from all over Europe and it was just something that's never happened here before. Sunday's transport was the largest commercial transport of horses in history, according to the president of FEI, the organization running the World Equestrian Games this year in Tryon, North Carolina. It was a very smooth flight. Horses were at ease through the entire flight. We looked after them really well, and we are happy to be here. 550 powerful horses from six different continents are set to land by Thursday ahead of the games on September 11th. You know, the team is very uh, focused on moving the horses safely and keeping the horses in the, the best uh, health and spirits for the competition. Vets helping the horses off the plane and checking them out for several hours before loading them up and driving them to Tryon, North Carolina, where they'll be quarantined. The animals competing in eight different events. But until then, spectators like Barbara hoping to catch a glimpse of the horses as their hooves touch down in the upstate. Once in a while, something like this will happen, and you have to just be a part of it. And certainly a lot going on this week. There are other projects underway at the Tryon Equestrian Center where this will be held. That includes road construction at US 74. We're told that is on track to be finished up in time for the next event. That is next week on Tuesday. We're live at the Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. Kirsten, I feel a kindred spirit in Barbara, who you talked to for your story there, because this is really unusual and cool and something to go check out. So if people wanted to see these plane loads of horses being flown into GSP, is there a vantage point outside the airport where you can actually see that happening? Unfortunately, there really isn't a good vantage point, and some airport staff are discouraging people from coming out here to watch just because there's no real safe parking along the way to get a good look. We tried today as the plane was coming down to get our view ourselves just to get some video, and unfortunately, they are parking the plane behind several buildings. So again, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend coming out here. People aren't, uh, you know, helping out and encouraging that just because of the parking issue. Gordon? Yeah, the curious folks. I guess we'll just have to go to try on. Kirsten, thank you.